again with Nokia Experts. Now I'm going to create several videos of uh, different applications. Um, so let's start off with the phone. All right. So as I press the power button, do the slider thing. Now as you can see, if you are in the phone application, let me see if I turn off this light if it helps a little bit. I don't think it matters too much. So if you are in the um, phone application, it by default will jump into the portrait mode as we see here. And as you can see, I've got my contacts um, showing as calls incoming, outgoing, voicemail, has photos for, for those that I have loaded up on there, and kind of designates a little bit about them. Now I can also pop into the dialing pad here, and as you can see, it's a nice large dialing pad call type. If I tap on that, as you can see, I can make uh, phone calls, Skype calls, and Google Talk calls via VoIP. So there's a lot of functionality and flexibility in this phone application, um, which is unusual for an internet tablet from Nokia because they've never had this phone built in. And it's actually quite powerful. I especially like the Skype integration. I know in the past I've actually used the Skype application on the N810 when I was in Spain to make calls home, and now I've got it built right into uh, the phone application itself it's much more usable than uh, the Skype application so as you can see you can uh, dial select a previous type call or you, if you tap select contact you can scroll through your contact list and choose one to uh, make the call to so if I was to tap somebody to call say this one here gives me options now depending on what uh, my contacts um, information is it could have if I have a Google account it will also give me a Google talk option as well so here we see phone uh, or call with Skype. If I was to tap on phone, I'm going to go ahead and there's the call coming in. There's the call. Um, it has you know speaker, uh, dial, dial pad if I need to you know uh, enter numbers and things like that. There's a speaker and that kind of thing. It also has a proximity sensor. So if I hold it up to my ear, it would. Uh, would close, uh, would, would turn off the display. So kind of like an iPhone or some other new phones, the proximity sensor, which is real nice. Now you can also use the phone in landscape mode. Let's pop over here. And you can see, same thing. We look at the dialing pad. It's big numbers over to the right. And then we've got our options. Um, if we tap in phone, you can see there's uh, things for, there's parts for accounts, which uh, show my accounts that I have. And then there's also, uh, place to add a new contact. If you tap in new contact, you go in and you have your fields that you can enter. Um, as you can see, it's cell, email, first, last. Then we go to add field, and you've got a number of different fields that you can add, as we see. Google Talk, Jabber, OB, SIP, birthday, address, web page, gender, nickname, job title, notes. So there's a several fields that you can enter for your particular contact. So that's a look at the phone application and uh, I guess contacts a little bit as well. So it's, as you can see, it's quite a powerful phone. And the more I use it, the more I uh, actually enjoy using it as a phone because the phone call quality is typical Nokia, very high phone call quality. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.